Hello guys, it's your boy Natal. Basically today I'm just gonna make a short video about how to uh, get stat weights for your character and how to simulate which item is better. Like there's been a lot of questions about that. Uh, let me just turn down this music real quick. There's been a lot of questions about that so I want to make a video so everyone understands what's going on, you know. It's something I really wanna like, I, I really wanna help you guys with everything so uh, that's why I'm doing this right now. So basically there's two add-ons that you need to be honest. Like you want the, uh, let's see here, uh, we go into add-ons, you want uh, simulation craft, let's see where it is, there, simulation craft, you want an add-on called simulation craft, and you want an add-on called pawn. Basically what you do with simulation craft is you can type simc in the game, like I'll, I'll put the command on the screen, basically you get a bunch of stuff here, uh, and I'll get to that later, where to put that in, and basically after you've downloaded these two add-ons you need to head over to the internet. Basically, the, uh, on the internet, you want to uh, find uh, a few things. You want to go into Simulation Craft. Let's see if I can spell here. Simulationcraft.org. And you don't want anything extra. There we go. And you go into here. Then you go into Downloads. And you download the one for your uh, system. Like there's uh, Windows 64, Win Windows 32, Mac, and then Source Code. And basically, okay. So you download this, and then you're going to get this application here that's pretty cool uh, basically what you want like it will look like this when you've downloaded it and like okay so what do I do now basically you go into options first off uh, options and you go into globals and then armory region you want to find EU uh, if you want to import your character from the armory uh, you can do that, or if you have the add-on like I told you guys to download, then you can just put the information straight in there. Uh, actually, you want you want to download the armory one anyway. Like you want you want to, your first one to be downloaded from the armory, so you get all the extra stuff, uh, like the all, all the automatic stuff. So then I'll find my character here. I'm on Twisting Nether, so I'll find that at the bottom of this list, and then I'll go to Natal, then I'll import my character. It's gonna take a little while, but not too long. And there we go. So now it's downloaded myself from Armory. Uh, it has everything like that I logged out with lately, like last basically. So there we go. And then uh, when you have this window here, then you want to go into the game again. So we're going back into the game. And then you want to type the command slash simc. So you get this up. You want to copy this to these two sections right here. So you want to copy this first section and put it at the top um, where the other stuff is. You want to put it like right here. Just want to switch that out for the info that you got from the top there and then you want to go down to the bottom and it's basically this information that you want to switch out which is your, which is your items. So uh, we're going into the game again and we'll take the items that we copied from your character that's like live right there from your character uh, through the add-on and then we'll go out again to the, uh, to the application that you downloaded and you'll paste that in there and then you can press simulate here and it will give you um, basically your DPS. What your DPS would be with this gear uh, if you did everything correctly, uh, blah blah blah. Basically, this is very good, a very good way of comparing items because then you can switch out different items and you'll know if that one's better for you or not. Um, all right, so basically we'll cancel that there, and we get 407k DPS. That's because I have Exsanguinate on, there's about 20k DPS difference with Exsanguinate and Agonizing Poison for me with the stats I currently have. So uh, that's basically what it is. And then uh, it says here at the top I cancelled the simulation, but I cancelled it because otherwise it would calculate my stat weights and we haven't really got to that yet. So basically uh, that, that's part one. And th then you have simmed your d current DPS with your current gear and everything. And now if you want to get upgrades for your gear, basically like you want to compare upgrades then you want to go into options again you want to go to scaling then you want to press enable scaling and then you want to toggle all character stats that toggles all character stats for your character and that basically means like you can find your stat weights for your characters stat weight is basically how much a certain stat is worth like if you have one agility how much is that worth compared to uh, one crit and stuff like that so basically 
after you've done that, the scaling part, you've, you've pressed like enable all the scalings here, and then you'll go into uh, simulate again, and then you'll do another one, like you simulate your character again, and then it's gonna sim do the same thing, like it's gonna simulate the DPS, but it's also gonna simulate all the stat weights. This takes a minute, so I'm not gonna do it live here, but I've already done it on a previous one, here it is. Basically what, the only difference really, is this uh, area right here. Like you get these stat weights here. So you get like one agility is one, like it's worth one. And then one AP, which is attack power, is worth 96. One mastery is worth 83. One versatility is worth 78. One crit is worth 74 and so on. Basically these stat weights are based on your character. So this, this is an, like a subject to change obviously. Like the, the, uh, when you get different gear you want to update your stat weights so that it's correct every time. You might not have to update it after every item but I mean if you want to be 100% correct that's what you want to do. So basically, as you can see here, ver both mastery and versatility is above crit, even though I've told you guys to get crit, obviously. And that's because when you get to a certain point with crit, which is about 43%, 42% unbuffed, then uh, basically you want to get mastery and versatility over crit. As long as you have 42% without food buff and 43% with food buff, that's, that's where you want to go, basically. So now that you have these stat weights, you want to head over to the game again. So we're, we'll go to the game here, and then you'll close this down, and then you'll open your add-on pawn. Basically, you can go into the character screen here, and you can press the, your icon that you have, uh, or you can type slash pawn in the chat, and you'll get it up. So basically, what you want to do here, it will look like, probably look like this, and then you want to press manual, because you don't want to use the one that's standard, because those are standard for every character and every spa like in, in assassination, every assassination character. And that's not really correct because the stats weights are kind of different based on what stats you already have, since crit kind of has a breaking point at 43%. So uh, what you want to do here is you want to uh, create an empty template, create a new scale from scratch. You type that in, you name it something like uh, uh, Natal uh, Weights. Uh, I'll put two S's in there because I already have one called Nathal Weights. Uh, Alright, so agility. How much is one agility worth? So then you want to go to your uh, your app where you, uh, where you got the results here. And you see here that one agility is worth one. So basically what you type in that field is that you type in one. And then that, that's it basically. And then you go into, let's say, uh, crit. How much is a crit worth? So then you want to go back to the website and you want to find crit, which is uh, 0.74. So that's what you want to copy and put that into the game. Uh, where did it go? There it is. So then you want to put that into the game. And you want to do that for all the stats that show up in your thing. So that's basically mastery, versatility, crit, haste, uh, and agility. I didn't find any AP here, so I like, don't care about the AP. We don't have AP on anything anyway, so it doesn't matter. But basically, that's what you do. So after you put that in, I'm going to... Uh, let's see. Alright, so this is this is the one I had before. So basically, uh, it's called Natal Weights, and oh, great, so I'll show this in the tooltips, and let's see, I'll probably have to remove the one I just made, because otherwise it's probably not going to work. So we'll, we'll do that. Actually, we can delete that one. Delete. Great. Alright, so now we have Natal Weights, the first one I created with my original stat weights, and basically what you can do there is that you can check out different items. You can compare your items here with pawn. You go into compare and then you can put in different items here. So let's say I put in one my, let's see, what do I have in my bag? I have a belt. So I'll put in my legendary belt here. Then I'll put in a another belt. And obviously we can see that it's a 25, 28% downgrade. Like, if I were to equip this other belt that I have, it would be a 28% downgrade. Uh, but keep in mind, guys, that Pawn does not take into consideration your, like, effects. Like, the legendary effect is not counted into this. And, like, trinkets, you can't do it with trinkets because it's not counted in. Like, the effect on the trinket is not counted in. So it doesn't really work that way. So, basically, you can compare different things in here. And it's also going to show you a tooltip. Like, if I equip this belt... 
Then we're gonna see on this other belt uh, that it says natal weights 28% upgrade. So that that's that's a really easy and simple way to see like if an if a, if an item drops from the mob or from the boss that you killed or something like that, you can just hover over it with your mouse and you will know like if it's an upgrade or not. So it's actually really really good and it says like your best item here like natal weights your best and this is my second best. And yeah, like that, it's a, it's a really a really nice way of uh, finding upgrades and not having to go through the whole thing that I've been doing of simulating everything and yeah, everything like that. And like you really want to do it this way because otherwise you won't really be sure if it's the best item or not. Like for example, uh, these boots that I got, I had crit mastery boots before and I would have never thought that these mastery versatility boots were actually better than the ones I had unless I had this add-on that told me that. So... It's really helpful guys, and I think you, every one of you should use it, it's gonna help you a lot, I believe. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it for this video. If you wanna check out my stream, I'll link the stream below. Um, we do a lot of stuff on there, like, I'm probably gonna do viewer runs at some point, pretty soon. So just come by my stream guys, and say hi, and we'll, like, I'll answer any questions that you have, or whatever. So, alright guys, that's it for me today. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and take care guys.